And when I got here about 10 years ago as a teacher, I saw a lot of, oh, I'm just from Milford. I'll never amount to anything. I'll, you know, it seems like with this renewable energy thing, the whole perception has changed. It's kind of like when a high school wins a state championship. When you bring home a state championship, everything's going good, and that is good for, you know, morale. We have a town of probably 2,000, 2,500 people, and the business that's bought, brought to the restaurants, the gas stations, the grocery stores, our hardware store. It's one more thing that helps stabilize a small community. I mean, there's very limited things to do around here. The land's not worth a whole lot, uh, and these turbines make it worth something. And this project has seemed to unify the community. And I haven't talked to anybody that's not excited about it. We're in the, a deep recession, and yet, you know, out there, they're thriving. If a person wants to work in Beaver County right now, they can find a job. When we came here, our goal was to hire at least 65% local people. I think we're pretty much somewhere close to that. I'm fortunate to personally, you know, have this opportunity. I appreciate everything that I have with this job and, and all the things that I've learned. It's good work. It helps out with the energy in the country. And it is a very, very rewarding uh, experience and feeling to know that we're producing clean energy. The California market for renewable energy is, is driving this and getting it started here in Utah. Wind has value and we're, we're glad that somebody wants to, to purchase that, but it really isn't that new. Um, windmills have been around for, for generations. After we get through at these sites, everything will be returned back to its normal habitat. All around the turbine sites will all be just naturally the way that it was. The cattle will graze right up to the, the towers. They'll not know that there's anything happened any different. We have two brand new schools, a new hospital that wouldn't be in existence if it hadn't been for the, the tax base that this wind farm is going to put in. The local businesses, from gas stations to machine shops to every other type of business, has had a pretty good year. We've added extra employees, extra cooks, extra everything, really. It's a way to add to our economic development and still maintain our rural way of life. It's just more support, more foundation to keep us here. In the valley we want to be in, it's going to keep more families here. We are so excited to be able to have an opportunity to be a player in this renewable energy. We need to do it while the opportunity is here. If not, the other countries will come and do it for us. To read our story, it's pretty self-evident that uh, small town of Milford, Utah can have a multi-million dollar project. I, I hope they build them all the way to Delta. There's nothing between here and there but wind and jackrabbits. <laughs> and I am absolutely certain that the existence of these towers is going to attract people to the area. I know it will. Whether you gain a, you know, a 200 megawatt wind farm or you just put up a wind turbine at your school, um, monumental steps, either one.